show you our Scylla example project for Sojo. So here's the main window where we have our Sojo control on the window. We have in this example three different syntax colorings active. So we have an example for MySQL, for HTML and for Sojo script. Let's run it. Here you see the three different uh, example windows where we have syntax highlighting for MySQL, for HTML and for Sojo script. You can select something, you can just type something and you can use it like any other editor. We have code folding so you can fold your statements here. You can select lines on the left with here the line numbers. You can use uh, autocomplete like I type something, I can select what word to use. And we autocomplete currently the keywords, but you can change it to whatever you like. We got over a hundred different lexes for different syntax coloring, for different languages you may use. So you can also have uh, not just MySQL, but you can also have MS. SQL or Postgres commands. You can also have not just HTML but CSS and many more. So let's take a look on, on the code. Here you see we open the example window and then set up it for different uh, examples like MySQL and Sojo. So let's take a look on here one of them. So the first thing is we load our given lexer. So in this case it's the one for hypertext and if you wonder what lexers we have, we have here a constants file with all the different lexers as, as constants. We also have a function to query the list of the lexers and then each lexer has its own set of constants like for example here for CSS, for a tag, a class, a directive, a comment. So every style class here gets a different uh, color. Back in the code, we have the lexer loaded, we have our constants here, so we define the list of the keywords for hypertext, also for HTML5 and for uh, JavaScript here because you can have JavaScript embedded in your HTML and this lexer can handle that. Then uh, we assign the keywords here for HTML and JavaScript. You could also do Python and PHP things um, if you want. Then uh, we start with a base style. So we define uh, the, the common default style with Helvetica, a font size and a color. And then uh, we apply this to all other styles. So with clearing all the other styles, uh, we, we basically set them to this default style. And then we start to customize the styles. Like let's say normal text should be black, attribute styles, but here uh, numbers should have a different color and then quoted strings should have a different color and so on. Once we have set all the colors, we can customize more. There is a style for the line numbers, which also get a color specific here, and then for the um, numbers, and this defines the width of the area for the numbers, and we allow it to click, so we get the click event for it. We set properties for the Lexa to allow folding, including here comments. Then uh, we, should, we can see the properties here. If you put a break here in the code, you see the properties you can set and the keyword sets and the description for, for a property. So you could build a inspector like, like here in Sojo for all the properties and make switches for them if you like to customize this in your application. Then we set up the folding 
where we uh, define the width and say this should be for folders and it's clickable and then we have different symbols. So running this again, um, this is all about how this uh, thing here on the left is drawn. Like you can have uh, these boxes here, but you can also have it uh, round as dots and you can have uh, rounded lines if you like. You find all the constants in the plugin, so we can just type here the uh, tab key and we see you can have circles and you can have custom pictures if you like. So here we define uh, the highlighting for syntax error and you can have besides the squiggle, you can have different indicators there as you need and we just put a line under the syntax error in this example and we define here our own bookmark style symbols for showing bookmarks or you could use that to show syntax errors in your social script code. So I can use uh, this marker here to click to have all kinds of bookmarks in my example for social script. We enable uh, the auto completion and uh, in this case we use um, ignore case so it's not case sensitive like uh, for example C++ code. And we put in a sample text for HTML. Let's see how it's different for Sojo. So we have different lexes for basic related languages but we got an extra Sojo one which is a little bit different than the others. But it uses the same constants for the basic syntax lexer and here we have the list of reserved words for Sojo and also a list of some data types. So we can highlight those. We define our base style again. We define a little bit different colors for the different uh, objects, strings, comments, operators. Then we have a style for our line numbers again and for the margin we allow the code folding here explicit. We define how the lines should be drawn and we define also the syntax error color, the breakpoints, and then here we have a few extra options, like we can sh display the end of lines. Let me just enable this and run the example, so you see the difference. So here you see all the line endings are indicated with LF in a box. So you see where the line ends and what, what is used there. So we have here end of line LF, and but you can also have other symbols shown. And then we have here below the option to do custom line wrapping, which can also be useful sometimes if you like to customize it in different ways. Like I can just show you how the word Wrapper works. Um, now I need to make a long line. And it breaks whole words. Put it back. So you can colorize your marker for the edge. Let's just turn this on. And you may notice a difference. So we need a, a very long line again. So let me type a very long line. And you see there's a color if you go over the edge, in this case 50 characters, your line will be indicated with a different color. Then let's customize the indention. With some example code here. So we have the indention, which is uh, which defines whether this is done with space or with tab characters. And then something which you can see better is the blinking cursor, so the carrot ca can be customized. Let's run again. 
So you see, wherever the line is active, we get a back, red background and we have a yellow blinking carrot. So you can see where you type, but now since we made it dark red, you can't see what you type. But the colors are all up to you and you can change them as needed. You can also put the whole thing on read only if you like, so you can not modify the text. Now let's use, let me show you the search and replace feature. So we got a find command here, so we can for example search for integer and find something. Find next, yeah, you can find the other ones. So we can match case, robot, regular expressions. So you, you can also search with regular expressions. So we use the regular expression checkbox, do a find, find next, and we can find all the things named integer. We can also do a search and replace. Let me just search for false and put in true. For example, whole word, find, yeah, replace, find next, replace, and that is all. So you can do search and replace, if you like, in your control here. And you can customize all the code. So let's just take a look here. The show find shows the control, and when we do a find, we use here the find text function and the control. And then we set the selection, scroll to it, and scroll, scroll to it. So, and uh, when we do the autocomplete, you may notice we have a lot of events here. So you get a key down for any key that's pressed, then you get a character added for when text is added and this may decide to start autocomplete and then the start autocomplete will look for characters at the cursor position and then look for matching words and then build a word list and then pass this word list to the control so it can show you the autocomplete. We can also take a look on this on Windows. So let me just switch here to so here you see it on Windows for Sojo script, for MySQL and for HTML. We can do our select, we can select lines, we can set our bookmarks, we can do code folding on Windows 2. And I think that's all for today. So please try the new plugin. Have fun with it and report any issues you find to us so we can fix it for the future. Thank you for watching.